Hi everyone, Migs here, and today I'm going to show you how to configure and manipulate the Multimon config file. It's the, the one that alters and changes the way your triple screen setup is being handled. So let's dive right in. Uh, you'll want to open up your Eurotruck location, which is in your documents folder. Uh, there we go, Eurotruck Simulator 2, and we are going to look for this one over here, multimonconfig.sii. So we'll go ahead and open that one up. I've done that already. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. There's a lot of values, a lot of coordinates, a lot of uh, hex values, that kind of thing. All right, it's a bit confusing to the mind if you don't know what you're doing. But let me run through it quickly and I will uh, give an explanation of what does what. All right, what I've done is I've opened up a, a backup one, which is this one over here, to give you a comparison what the defaults are compared to what they should be. And if you're new to editor or notepad editor, it's a fantastic program. It gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to manipulating and overlapping uh, certain files. In this case, what I'm going to do is, because I've got these two files, I don't want to keep jumping between the two. So a very simple trick you can do is right-click on the file that you want. Okay, You right-click on it and you say move to other view. And suddenly you've got a split screen and you can see both files at the same time in real time. Now, when you scroll up and down, you know, you see they're moving up and down. So you've got to literally do this again on the other side so you can keep comparing them as they go up and down. Another simple trick is use the icon synchronize vertical scrolling and you click on that one and suddenly they both move together. Very nice software, very easy to use, very uh, comprehensive. So let's dive right in. What you're looking for, let's start you with the normalized UI. This is the actual UI screen when you log when the when the game begins, where you've got your truck in the background, you've got your, all your icons, which you can do whatever with. Uh, in this layout, you'll see that it's got 0 0.33333. That's basically the position of the screen on the triple screen setup. You will need to alter this if you want to be done on all three screens, if I can put it that way, you will manipulate this number. To do that, you will change that to all zeros on the UI X value, and then on the width, you'll change it to one. So basically zero will be on your furthermost left point of the screen, and one will be on the further rightmost point of the screen. This shows you it's a third of the way in and a third of the way out. So that should explain it, all right? You can see here, it shows you three monitors and each monitor has its name, but that gets given to it on its own. Right, next thing we're gonna look at is your center screen. There it is highlighted there. It gives you your, again, your normalized X and Y, that's a position of the screen. So that's your center screen. So it will start a third of the way in plus a third of the way down on the inside spot, if that makes any sense. What we're looking for here is your field of view, horizontal field of view override, okay? Uh, if I remember correctly, default should be around 65, 75, I think. I've played around with that and to get the most realistic screen where your dashboard is lined up, it's not tilted or skewed or whatever, is to use this value, 48.2999. Depending on your aspect ratio of your screens, maybe you've got smaller uh, monitors, I don't know, uh, it all depends on your hardware. You can change these numbers and play around with them until you get a feasible presentation. So your screen looks the way it's supposed to. Okay, I've played around with it. I've been between 30 and, and 50. And to me, the best value I've, I've gotten out of it is 48.2999. Okay, your vertical field of view basically will squash your screen from top to bottom or increase your, your screen from top to bottom. So if you play around with that number, you'll, you'll see that you, it starts getting squashy or very thin. Uh, if you're looking at the back of a truck, the trailer, that's the that square box or rectangular box of the, of the trailer. If you're driving down the road, if you manipulate these values, they'll either become very squashy, so it looks like a, a flat bed truck almost, or it will be like a very thin telephone pole type of effect. So playing around with that will give you those different effects. Right, moving along, the next thing we're going to look at is on your left screen. Let's look at the left screen. Things to look out for there again now is heading offset. This is very important. Again, this is what changes where your cursor has uh, uh, permission to, to go to. If you don't change these things, your cursor will only stay on your main screen, your center screen. Okay, By changing that to one, you'll have access to your left screen. Again, we have to change the horizontal field of view to that value and that's what you need to do on the left screen and then on the right screen the sim similar issue we have this time on your heading offset 
it has to be minus 1, which reverts it to the far right. Okay, And once again, it's the horizontal field of view override that the number has to be changed. And that's all there is to it. Remember to save your file. Once it's saved, it's ready to go. In my experience, it's always good to make backups before you do any changes. So it's easily, as you can see here, uh, just add a dot back to your, to your file and it should easily change. And then at least you've got a backup. No, no need to go back and try and figure things out. And guys, I'd like to make a request, please. Uh, as this is a new channel and I'm trying to get as much video and content out there, it does take time. And I've also been getting some comments already. So thank you very much for those. They're very appreciated and uh, I'd love to help everyone. But it's difficult to get to everybody. So hit the subscribe button. It really helps me in getting the alerts in time and also directing the concerns and requests and whatever you may have directly at the person who's posted it. Uh, if I don't get it that way, if you do not subscribe, it makes it more difficult to get to everybody and I don't want to let anybody feel left out, okay? This is an all-inclusive channel. I'd love your input, criticism, doesn't matter. Uh, give it to me. Uh, I know I learned it the hard way. Uh, I've been all over the net looking for, you know, guys, information, things to, to help me out and I've never found a channel like this. That's why I've decided to create this channel. And because of those issues, I'd appreciate it if you could support me in my channel. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll do my utmost to accommodate everybody and get to everybody's uh, questions and concerns. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. I can't stress this enough. And if you'd like to see me cover any other topics, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. And that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next one.